what is your response or what is your answer then if this comes back next week with a vengeance and then the hospitals are overwhelmed? Uh, I say that you're a terrible reporter. That's what I say. Go ahead. I think it's a very nasty question, and I think it's a very bad signal that you're putting out to the American people. The American people are looking for answers and they're looking for hope. And you're doing sensationalism and uh, the same with NBC and Comcast. So I don't call it, I don't call it Comcast, I call it Comcast. Let me just ask for whom you work. Let me just say something. That's really bad reporting. There's, there's, what other there's, actually, there's actually nurses that are being laid off. I know nurses that are laid off because elective surgeries aren't being done. That's where hospitals make their money is with elective surgery. So every other health condition is put on hold, and the whole thing is on this virus. That has a negative effect on people that shouldn't be negatively impacted by the coronavirus. That's the point I'm making. And I'll give you another example. We have a surge capacity hospital, a suburban uh, hospital in East Norton Township. It's never been used. We had a surge capacity facility at the um, Glen Mills School in Delaware County. It's never been used. So our hospitals have capacity, and it's time that we take the necessary steps to reopen Montgomery County. The surge facility has had patients in it. I did a story on it. Which surge facility? The one at Suburban. Okay. Not to my knowledge. Okay. And how many was it? One? How many patients did they have? Since you're so well informed, how many patients did the surge? They had hospital overflow and they had patients in there for about a week. How many? It, could, it was less than half a dozen. But, but to say that it was never used doesn't mean that it was, I mean, a half a dozen, there's still people. Okay. Well, it's my opinion that the course we're on and this cure is worse than the disease, and it could be handled much better. Do you think that it's effective to stand here and criticize all the county employees that are on the phone for hours and all the other people here, or just, to get your hands dirty and to do something? I just thanked all the correctional officers, and many days you've seen me at this podium thanking our county staff and the great job and the great work that they're doing. This is a pandemic, a global pandemic. It's not easy for anyone. It's terrible. People have lost their loved ones. My heart goes out to those families. I can't even imagine what they're dealing with. But have you called at any the of same them? time, people that should not be affected at this point by this virus are crippled, jobless. I just spoke to a father yesterday on the phone of a 10-year-old boy with developmental disabilities where he's responsible to educate his child and he's having difficulty doing so. And he's worried that in the long term, this will have a negative impact on his son because he's not receiving the proper education. So there's people that have lost their loved ones. It's terrible. And there's people that should not be affected to the degree they are affected by this virus. And they're struggling as well. And that's terrible as well, too. So what are you doing to help that father? I'm trying to reopen and make a step and show optimism that we should head in a direction where we reopen Montgomery County. So that father that's having problems he educating his child, he needs, he needs optimism. Yeah, he needs prayers, he needs support, and he needs Montgomery County to reopen.